What's up guys, Damonator1, 2 and 2, and today I got a cool new deck profile for you. This is my Hero Cosmos. I decided that I'd like to try to do something a little more anti-meta with Cosmos because they are untargetable and they can kind of float and tag out and all this, uh, other stupid stuff. So they can dodge a lot of cool card effects and things like that. So I wanted to make a deck that isn't just purely OTK, which is kind of what the deck does, and I want to do something a little different with it, so here you go. Hero Cosmo. First off, we play three Dark Destroyer. Please excuse the scrub tier uh, gold rares. <laughs> I can actually play these now! But uh, this thing is probably the powerhouse of the deck. This thing is really what wins your games, so you play three of them. Two Forerunner. Uh, I was playing three before in my rank five build of Cosmos, but uh, I decided that I need to uh, get more variety of ships, less numbers of them, if that makes any sense. So, two of these. And you spend a lot of, this, this build pens, spends a lot of light points, so you kind of need this guy. Two Slip Rider. I don't have the heart to bring this thing down to one, um, even though it probably should, but uh, I really, really like the card, and it lets you go into infinity, so that's the thing. Two Wicked Witch. Uh, she's a dark level four. That comes in handy. And that unkillable by battle card effect thing does come in handy once in a while. Sometimes if you, you know, you, somebody kills your Dark Destroyer and you go into Forerunner, kills that, goes into Slip Rider, kills something, kills that. And then you can go into this thing, you can absorb all the rest of their attacks. You know, this thing, it, it does come in handy. Three, Farm Girl. Still probably the most important card in the deck. You could make the argument that because I'm playing kind of a dark build, that you could probably knock her down a two, um, not as important because you kind of search her all the time anyway. But I'm playing her a three because I, you know, I have them, so I might use them. And next up is Soar Trooper at two. Basically, um, normally you play this at zero or three, depending on the deck uh, build you're running. But I'm this one uh, runs it pretty useful at two. Uh, I just need more dark targets as well as uh, you can still do the Cosmo uh, rank three loop with this thing. So I'll, I'll show you in a minute. Two tin can. Um, this just sets up your plays, this gets you ahead in your deck, and it's level 1, so that kind of comes in handy with certain things. Here is the hero engine. It's surprisingly small. One Bubble Man, one Shadow Mist, and two Summoner Monk. That's all you need. Um, basically, Summoner Monk goes into your one-off Shadow Mist, and that gets your mass change. So, um, that's how these guys work, and it's all you need. Three Cosmo Town because you need Cosmo Town. It's Cosmos, and this lets you get back a lot of your banished stuff. It, it really comes in handy. Two Itali. You play this at max, and right now it's a two, so two Itali. Two Mass Change. You need Mass Change for the hero part of the deck. Um, this thing is really, really good, and this lets you get to your Dark Law and Acid. Three a Hero Lives. This is why you only need one Shadow Mist. Um, the other ones are kind of dead, but you end up just either getting your Bubble Man with this thing. <laughs> or uh, discarding with Shadow Mist, so it's really not that big of a deal. Um, you really just want to open it, that's why That's why we have it at three. Three, uh, what is this, Instant Fusion, Cup of Soups. You need three Cup of Soup because, again, you need to open it, otherwise your deck doesn't work the way you want, we want it. One Regeki, and here's a fun one, two Allure of Darkness. Allure is such a fun card, I love this card. Um, at two is great, and we, we, pull, we run all those darks so we can actually use this stupid thing. Um, this lets us just get to our combo piece. Also, uh, I should probably note, uh, it works really, really, really well with Cosmo Town if you banish uh, Wicked Witch or Sword Trooper, because you can just get it right back with Cosmo Town, and it basically turns that into Pot of Green. And then for the traps, we don't run many, just three uh, Call the Haunted to get, uh, what do you call it, to get Shadow Mist back so we can make it more than once, and this also lets you get back uh, ships. Like, you know, your opponent runs over your... Uh, your uh, Dark Destroyer with like a, I don't know, uh, Utopia the Lightning or something, goes to the graveyard, end phase, flip this thing up, pop their Utopia, and you know, you got their Dark Destroyer back. So this, this just works really well in Cosmos. And then the last card to make it 40 is Treacherous Trap Hole, and uh, uh, this makes more sense when you see the extra deck. <laughs> Starting out the extra deck, we have one Acid and two Dark Law. Basically, um, <laughs> we can make both Dark Laws despite the fact we only have one Shadow Myth. Nor you could say that you know this would probably be sufficient to make an Animated Cosmos. However, uh, if you can make the second Dark Law during the tournament, this thing can save my butt because uh, your opponent has an out to this one but never has an out to this one. So that's just kind of nice. And uh, I would say that Acid's really, really good right now, and he is, but I never quite seem to make him as much as I'd like. But he is in here because every once in a while, <laughs> with uh, the Bubble Man. And then we got one Panzer Dragon. These are the instant fusion targets. One Norden uh, for all the rank fours. 
And here's a fun one. Flame Ghost! Oh, so broke! Hashtag Flame Ghost. Hashtag new meta. Um, basically, uh, it, this is just a rank 3 target. Um, because we are only running two of the Sword Troopers, and we wanted the Sword Trooper loop, we sometimes we need the extra level 3. So this is just in here. This is uh, something I threw in here for new newsies. Uh, I haven't actually gotten to use it yet, but uh, in theory, it should work really well. And then the XYZs, we have... Nova Infinity, because we do run Panzer Dragon, and we do have the main deck Slip Rider, so, you know, we, you can actually go into Infinity pretty easily if you want. And then we got Utopia Lightning in regular Utopia. This is, like, kind of for a mirror match thing, um, as well as just every once in a while, your opponent's, like, got a bunch of battle traps or something, you just know that's what they got, just... Pfft. And Utopia Lightning, he's just a really good answer to a lot of stuff. He kind of replaces most of the regular Rank 4 Toolbox, um, because he can just get over everything and just because there's you know no graveyard effects will he attacks you know you, you, he's really just an answer to everything he's just really good and then the other two rank fours we got are dweller because dweller is just really solid and because with noden he gets a little bit of a boost so that's pretty good and then uh Rafflesia, yeah Rafflesia, we can play this um this is why we play treacherous uh i was thinking about siding maybe some of the other trap holes Really, 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 really powerful if you can drop this and Dark Law opening turn. And, and, and because we're playing this and Dark Law, our Cosmos actually have a decent, like, you know, uh, turn one move. Because a lot of times people, when they know you're playing Cosmos, uh, game two, they'll make you go first. And Cosmos just don't really have a good go first turn. Like, if they, if they get Tin Can, that's okay, but um, this lets you set up a really much more powerful field. And then uh, the rank threes, we've got one Grand Pulse and one Levier. I don't have a I don't have a break sword, otherwise it's would be break sword. But uh, this kind of serves the same function. It's got a big butt and it can pop Cosmo Town and let you kind of go off in the middle of your place. So that's still kind of useful. And uh, Levier because it, it combos with Sword Trooper. And to finish it off, we've got the one F zero. This kind of uh, if you do manage to get the Sword Trooper off, you just get these two guys on board and you just mm. one of these. And this thing's really good in the mirror match. All right, the last thing I want to go over is the Sword Trooper loop in this deck specifically, and it's kind of a tutorial for people who don't really know Cosmos very well and don't know what I'm talking about when I talk about this little loop. Um, basically, <laughs> it's kind of nifty. It's kind of the new version of Cosmos that are running this, and I've kind of adapted a small version of it for my deck. But basically, let's say you tin canned or something, and you have a uh, Sword Trooper and, I don't know, Farm Girl in your grave, and you have this guy. So you normal with this guy. Awesome. Every one of these sword troopers, you can pay a thousand light points to summon one from the grave, any of the psychic types. So, if you summon another sword trooper, oh look, I got two level threes. But this guy hasn't used his effect yet because it doesn't say you can only use the effect of sword trooper once per turn. Just you can only use his effect once per turn. So then, sword trooper can activate. You get back your third level three. This could be anything, but uh, you know, if we have the instant fusion for that flame ghost or if it's a farm girl or whatever. So we got number of these guys on board, and you can then banish one of these guys. For a ship, right? Ah, oh, cool. And then, ooh, here's the here's the, the tricky part. Now, you overlay for your boom, Levier the Sea Dragon. And then you detach one of your little sore troopers to get back in special summon the one you just banished for the ship. And now <gasps> you can activate the sore trooper again. To oh bring this one back, and if you had another level three in the grave, you could bring this back again. But then basically, you just make your grand pulse, and you pop your you know Cosmo Town, and get more searches, and then, then, then you make the broke play. You make the broke play. That's that's what you do. What is it? And then you go like, and you got your future. Ah, oh, so busted. So yeah, so this is the kind of this is the the little the little loop you can do. And if you had three of the sword troopers, it's a little easier to do. Anyway, guys, let me know down in the comments below what you think of Cosmo Heroes. It's actually a really fun deck. I really, really like it. And um, it's actually been playing, testing really, really, really well. And it's really, really trolly. So let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. And remember, guys, if you don't troll the men who will, I'll see you guys next time. Sky Galloping Gaia the Dragon Champion. This is thing, the thing that you'd probably be summoning with the Curse of Dragonfire, because it requires one Dragon Monster and one Guy of the Fierce Knight Monster, which means it's kind of generic. You would you would use Curse of Dragonfire.